This is like a sample. Uh, named after one of our principals. 
and uh, if you look from if you have an aerial view, then uh, the main building is shaped like I. The chapel is in the middle. I T is a little open. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, this is our auditorium where we will be having the uh, evening cultural program. This is a chapel. This was built in 1938. And most our motto is we receive to give. That was what was spoken and inculcated. There is a cross which stands for the cross of Christ, the lamp and the lotus is put right in the center of the chapel. When we go to the chapel, you will find this lamp that is there. This is the motto of the college we receive to give. So we tell our students, whatever, first you bring something to the college, you enrich the college. Then you take something from the college and you enrich the society. To assist in the creation of women leaders. Sir, this is Methodist. Yes. Methodist is a Protestant. Methodist is Protestant, not CNI. CNI is Church of Long Followings. These are some of the traditions that we follow. The portal ceremony when we formally welcome the students. Our day which we celebrated on Tuesday, we plant saplings all over the campus. Founders day in memory of our founder, Mrs. Isabella Cohen. College day when we stage the play one year in English, one year in Hindi. We have these uh,
and recently we have submitted our report on 12th May and received a commission of 16th May. Major objectives and features broadening collaboration to be made and to be able to uh, compete with other global institutions. Overseas lectures and uh, special focusing was done on improving the college to become visionary in the fast changing world of digital world. Then these are the resources responsibility which uh, IQAC is uh, doing regularly, preparation and submission of IQF, feedback and this is proper documentation, infrastructure development and monitoring of department grants. This uh, has been a change in this lab of leadership to do this to tackle things. Uh, these are the criteria, I will not go into detail about criteria. I'm skipping this, you know, like uh, you all must be knowing about this. We have uh, appointed one chairperson for every criteria. Then the benchmarks which has been done in 2012 and 17. What was the initiatives? We introduced the smart classrooms in Flipnet and uh, digitalized library. Then we opened an entrepreneur uh, cell, you know, like it was like uh, recently you must have, uh, you know, like seen our entrepreneur who has given you a cupcake. And then establishment of uh, women prevention cell, basement cell, Wi-Fi campuses, and all other different different uh, societies in the departments. Then this is the major thing. Students as well. How to talk that initiatives? Like differently, we have uh, like it will be coming, but I am just telling now. Okay, so okay. It will be coming. Then students and partners in the learning and teaching higher education. That we provide learning and teaching assessments and scholarship and teaching learning and one uh, mentor and mentor. These are the things. Then, unique function of IQAC, major, you know, like what IQAC deals with. It deals with prepare of annual calendars, organize capacity building programs, and conduct meeting regularly. Action plan and action taken report. Like these are the major, uh, you know, like action which we have taken right since like uh, nine visit. So in 12, uh, 2012 and uh, 2013. In all, you know, like here what we have done, we have mentioned here, reorganization of cell, preparation of quality profile uh, as per AQR, information dissemination, apply for different UC grants, projects, meeting with students, representative, regularly we meet, we have SDA bodies and SA bodies, student feedback analysis, we regularly, every year we, uh, we take students' feedback. Student feedback is only on or? In all prospects. In all no, not, not yet online, but no. paper copy. Yes, we have a paper copy. Okay. 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 If you don't like it, sign it. Yes, it's up to you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so I like a plan to organize leadership programs and plan to enhance the digital learning. So this, is, this was the major, you know, like focus in recent years, in 2015 16 We were trying to digitalize all our you know, departments and our library too. New faculty training program and computer learning. So major role was to, you know, like uh, foreign orientation because when we start our, you know, like uh, academy session, we start with the orientation programs in between and we try to, you know, train our new faculties in, you know, like from SFS and regular work. Well, student strength, you know, like it is a student strength which you know, I guess you have already, you know, like seen in the SSR report, so we are not going in much detail inside this. So student strength and, and you know, like uh, SCO, BC, Christian SD and other journals. So student and teacher, uh, uh, you know, like strength, I'm not going to detail inside. Student teacher ratio, like uh, this is the full time, you know, average percentage of four teachers and uh, number of uh, PhD students. And then this is a res uh, result analysis, average pass percentage, about 92% uh, you know, like, uh, uh, outgoing students pass. And then student progress. Internship and placement. This we have recently started in 2016 and 17, and uh, you know placement cell and uh, uh, career counseling we have started. And internship. These are the few you know like which we have, uh, students have gone recently. And placement, KVC, and logistics and South Indian banks. There are many more which we have not mentioned. In the career counseling and placement cell, we have all the records. So we are taking you there. This is just a brief uh, picture. Capability and answer. Yes, sir. Yes, they are going to do a good part of the outcome of feedback analysis. Feedback, you are getting feedback from the stakeholders. What are the outcomes? Regularly, we need our experience. We are very much interested in the human experience. And how do you analyze feedback and what are the outcomes of it? 
subject, clinical nutrition and diet.
And another thing is, uh, like, uh, we have mentioned, SSR we mentioned, you know, I you take remedial classes. Yes. 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 Really there in the, what to say, timetable, show me that. Show the departmental timetable. Time 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 every uh, yeah. month, okay, every Saturday. Yes. 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 Doctors saying doing PhD in reproductive technology. 
Reprotoxicology. You have fishery, you have parasitology. Yes. Then you have reproductive uh, endocrinology. Endocrinology and accidental and and reproductive endocrinology. Men, men. Yes, ma'am. But right now we have only two men, entomology and fishery, because we have the uh, teachers in this. Entomology and fishery. Yes, according to your specialization, you have to have a specialization. So, fishery is what is it? Fishery में विक्रम राजेश बताओ identification and fishery में मैं practical में identification for the properties बताते हैं सेलेब्स सेलेब्स के सेलेब्स fishery का special paper उसमें मैं जीनो टॉप से ऐसे सेलेब्स बताते हैं जो मतलब एडमिशन बाइक में निकलेगा इस कुछ बाइक में निकलेगा fishery का बाइक में निकलेगा fishery में क्या है जो सेलेब्स है उसी सेलेब्स के साथ करने का practical चीज
be able to build the confidence of the society and other stakeholders. And we are extremely pleased to come out here as the members of your team. For the matter of fact, the college uh, is the first uh, college to uh, establish in South Asia, Women's College to establish in South Asia. Perhaps uh, it really, we have gained a lot of momentum going through the institutions. But uh, within a couple of days, or two days, or one day, or two days, a three member cannot afford to assess the institution of one type of another type of union. So therefore, uh, certainly, uh, we seek, you know, stakeholders, uh, committed stakeholders like you, to help us, you know, to promote the institution. Perhaps we also join hands to promote the institution in different moments. That is the reason why this kind of interaction is organized by NAC. As for the alumni, to what extent you can really contribute? Share your expertise so that you would be able to make institution come up in a broader perspective. So, you know the institution thousand times better than us. I mean, because you know, we are very new to this institution. Only we stepped into the institution today morning. And you cannot expect uh, to have objective assessment from us, to be frank. That is the reason, you know, we wanted you to sign hands so that we will be able to have a holistic view of this institution. Because justice must be done to the institution at any cost. The justice is very important. That must be an objective assessment. The institution must get what it deserves. It is very important. So in that way, we would like to have your expertise, you know, your ideas about the institutions. And that will give some ideas for us to or use our potential to assess the institution in a better way. Our assess the institution objective. That's very important. Suppose when I throw a question to parents or the alumni to spot out or to cite the major strength of this institution, which other institutions do not have. It is a chosen institution. Okay, when I throw this question to you, you know, this institution have tremendous reservoir of potentials, which other institutions do not have. What would be your response? Very proud answer to this. Yeah. Firstly, <laughs> 32 acres of land. <laughs> institutions that I'm aware of are pretty small. Secondly, the kind of faculty... No, the physical, the physical... The faculty, sir, the teachers that I hear, my experience, I'm sure no other institution would be at par because they're very dedicated. So you said that you all entered these colleges this morning. Uh, did you feel the aura as you stepped into the portals of IT college? Because that is something that as alumni we all do. And we are very proud to carry it. It is something that we've learned from our teachers. <laughs> Being located in a uh, town, like like home, no, 34 acres of sharing that is not. Apart from the physicality of the land here, the teachers, the values that are taught to us, because here so many years back I've passed, or more than 20 years back, it's not just been about academics. It's about more learning than life experience. And uh, that carried us through that. That is carrying us through that. So that is something now, how does the institution promote lifelong learning? That is my first tip. Because you see, like, uh, I'm really happy, you know, some uh, senior persons come over here as alumni. The college is happy years old. See, especially, there are some institutions I would like to point out, maybe in uh, Singapore NUS. At an average, every student studies in the institution for 40 years. In the sense, when they go for a job or professional experience, you know, when they come across some problem, encounter any problem in their profession, that kind of uh, training program is offered in the university. So each student is expected to have 20 long years to learn in a particular institution. That way, 
how does this institution promote lifelong learning for alumni especially? Sir, for us, we just have one motto. We receive to give. So we understand that and then when we move out of this college, this is what we keep doing all of the time. We have received education, we have received the warmth and we have received the feeling of helping others all the time, which is why we keep doing that throughout our lives. If you teach a student to keep giving when he or she is a student, then that continues throughout life. If you try to teach an elderly person, somebody who is past the college life, then that uh, teaching is not so strong. It might be, but it not, it's not so strong. But when a child comes here in class 11th or graduation first year, and then you start teaching and you teach that you have to pass on whatever you learn. And that is a better option and which is why we keep giving and giving all our lives. Like we become philanthropic in our college lives basically. So this college teaches philanthropy. Sunday Philanthropist. Okay. Anything else you want to come out? This really attracts me. So I am for it. You know sir, when uh, I joined this college, uh, the kind of support, like really uh, knowing that what is the teacher and student relationship, I definitely learned over here only. I have been the elected president of the college and the kind of democracy, the leadership, the democratic leader should be. I learned it from my principal at that time, Dr. E.S. Charles. She had been a great support, standing every time, teaching me that how to take the administrative responsibility and how to handle them. So the teachers... So do you think that uh, somebody could uh, replace uh, Charles? Uh, no. <laughs> For me, fair. no. no. She I teaches think, others to lead. Yeah, the, she the is the topmost leader and she teaches others to lead as I, well. I can uh, always find that the, I was very new and being an elected president and handling the girls at the graduate level, so much of the crowd, sometimes students were there, with, they wanted their demands. So she taught me that how to be a bridge and how we need to learn those administrative skills. And now since when I'm into job and I'm doing, I'm working as a dietitian in the government hospital, I keep on remembering her sayings and teaching that is helping me right now even. So I think that I, that ongoing lesson I've learned from her, not only in academics she was with me, but she used to teach us from her day to day. The special assemblies we used to have on Fridays, so she used to take any topic related to uh, the current situation and she used to teach us lot many things beyond book. Okay. So that is something which I remember. Yeah, from alumni, there are parents also. Yeah, parents. Parents are Why have parents. you chosen this college for you? Parents, parents have kya expectation hai college se? Kya chahiye? Aur kya improve hona chahiye? Wab batayin. Hindi mein bhi bol sakte, English mein bhi bol sakte. Yeah. Parents. Because we feel so we feel so connected and rather than being just students, I think over a period of time we want to become this family. So every time we address to each other, we always say welcome to the family. So that vibe, that positive welcoming vibe of the college was something that actually made me feel really comfortable. I got so comfortable that I've been here like since graduation, PG and now my dear. Yes.